Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to pluck and tint your eyebrows. Now I know how to do this because I went to college and did beauty therapy. So everything I got in this video, all the supplies I got from my college course, but I know you can buy it in Sally's Beauty Supply for eyebrow and eyelash tinting kits are quite easy to find nowadays. I know they might even be selling them in Boots and Superdrug, so yes. And what you will need, you will need some Vaseline, this is just to help protect the edges so you don't stain your skin. You need some stabilised hydrogen peroxide which is a very small a volume, it is not as dangerous and not as strong as the stuff you put on your head bleach, but it is just enough to lift the colour for a semi-permanent, you know, stay. We need a little dampen dish, Q-tips, a little brow brush, but I've got two types of brow brushes. This one was free with an Estee Lauder purchase and this one was just part of the kit. Um, me. You need the eyelash and eyebrow tint itself. Now this is kind of like a henna dye, but it's not. You mix it with the hydrogen peroxide. And then you also need some wet wipes. You can either use a cleansing lotion with a cotton pads or a baby wipes, cleansing wipes, anything really, just to get it off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck my eyebrows. Now I'm using these tweezers. The pointier of the tweezers, the better. I find you get more precision with these. Now I'm only doing this video because I get a lot of questions about how to do my eyebrows and I thought it would just be easier to just record it for you guys. So yes, that's what I'm doing. Right, so there's a mirror in front of me. Let's do this. Let's do this. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll do it. Okie dokie. Now what you want to do is you want to keep the skin taut. Now this helps prevent any swelling, any redness, and it also helps to reduce the pain. And you want to work underneath the brow. So anything between the corner of your nose going straight up from there, and then the corner of your nose going diagonally this way, and there you go, you've got your guideline. You never want to pluck any of the hairs on the top of the brow, because this can change the shape and alter the way your brows are meant to be, or, you know, just don't go there. So always pluck underneath and you just want to tidy up. Just any stray hairs if you've got a monobrow going on. So yeah, so if we start up by doing it like this, we shall see where it goes. So keep the skin taut and then you just want to start plucking. Now if this is your first time doing this or if you're not used to doing your eyebrows, I would suggest doing a little bit of each eyebrow at a time rather than just going the whole hog doing one eyebrow and moving on to the other because sometimes it can make it uneven and then you don't know where you are and you can lose your place. But um, if you know the shape of your eyebrows then you can, you know, do it how you want to do it. But this time I'm just kind of doing it as I feel. I'm moving on to the upper eyebrow. I'm just tidying up all the little stray hairs in the monobrow. Unfortunately, I am one of those people that is blessed with uneven eyebrows. I can't do anything about it, but my face has just got one of those natural slanted eyebrow things going on, only by like a couple millimeters. So however thin I pluck it on one side, it won't really go even <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to live with that but we can always give the illusion that even error than what they are right so now all the little stray hairs and my eyebrows are all gone I'm going to move on to making the barrier so the tinting cream doesn't stain my skin so you want to get your Vaseline and you want to just get a little bit and go around the edges don't be scared, just whack it on this is only to just keep it off the skin basically you don't want too much just around and then the same on the other side and there's a little bit of like foundation on the q-tip but who cares? who cares? right, yeah Okay, so there we go, barrier is made. Now, I'm gonna take the dampen dish and with the tinting cream, 
I'm going to be using a little bit of the brown and a little bit of the black. And you only need like a tiny little blob. The reason I'm using black and brown is because I find this one is the nicer colour to go with. Um, but you can just use black, it's all personal preference, but you can mix them to however you want. Now, we always got taught to use the tiniest little blob. Can you see that? Can you see that tiny little blob? So, that's the black done. Now moving on to the brown, tiniest little blob. That, can you see those two colours? Can you see? Like that. And then we put the hydrogen peroxide in. This hydrogen peroxide is only 10 volume, but you know, it's enough. And you want to put either two drops. One, two. Oh, there you go, that was three. Little brushy brush. Now this is the brush the kit came with, and you just want to mix it together to make a pasty consistency. Mix in, mix in, oh my god. Right. So now guys, I've got like a very pasty consistency, if you can see. Now what you want to do now is brush it on your brows. And um, this paste you can also use for your eyelashes, but you have to be very careful and you have to know what you're doing, because if it gets in your eye, then you're fucked. So just stick to your eyebrows for now, guys. And I'm just going to be brushing it on. I like to go with the natural shape of my eyebrows, uh, who doesn't? So if you don't want your brows to look very natural, then hey ho. But um, I'm going for a darker shade because I'm really sick of drawing them on all the bloody time. Don't worry, it's not going to go this dark if you think, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> no, it's not going to go this dark. It'd be nice though. The darker it is, the longer it will last for. Um, but I found from personal experience from tinting my brows that it can last up to about three weeks until you need to do it again. But it all depends on how much you wash your hair on your face and how you know how it falls out and sheds and all that. But it fades, everything fades. Clean up with a Q-tip for just a sec, and then. Uh, if you can see that, that is shaped. And then moving on to the other side. And now I've got to try and make them even. Right, so, I look like I've got very dark eyebrows now. So, um, you want to leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes, all depends on how dark you want them. If you don't want them going really dark, I would preferably check on them now and again in case they end up black, or you've got some dodgy, like, eyebrow tint and shit. But yeah, um, I'll get back to you in 5 minutes, and we'll take it off, and we'll see what we're left with. Right, so, 5 minutes has passed, and I'm going to take this off. Do, 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 do. Now grabbing my cleansing wipe. You're just gonna wipe it away and see what you're left with. Bring the top one and this one. Ugh. There we go. Do they look any darker? Do they look darker? Oh, there's some shit on my face. Shit on my face. Right, now I'm gonna grab the brow brush. Brushing through. Do I like the shape? Yeah, the shape's alright. And this side. And there we go. How to tint and pluck your eyebrows. Does it look cool? I wouldn't know. Okay guys, so I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. So this is how I pluck and tint my eyebrows. This is what they look like. Do -do 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 -do. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all soon. Bye guys!